Hi and welcome to Keys Review. My name is Tom Quirk and today I'll be looking at the M Audio Key Station 88 Mark III. Just a quick bit about M Audio. M Audio was founded in the late 1990s and have been pioneers in the music equipment industry. They also make some great audio interfaces, monitors and microphones. And I thought I'd just let you know about this in case you're building a home studio. Okay, let's take a closer look at the Key Station 88 Mark III. And after, I'll come back to you with my final thoughts and conclusion to this keyboard. At this point, I think it's worth mentioning that I'm using Keyscape by Spectrosonics, and that's triggering the sounds that you're hearing today, as this keyboard has no sounds. So my first impressions of the keyboard is that it has a very sleek design, minimal controls and of course the semi-weighted 88 keys. The dimensions are 138 by 22 by 7 centimetres and it only weighs 13.75 pounds so it's really light. On the back it has a power on off switch, expression and sustain inputs, a MIDI out, a port for USB and a power adapter input. Just to say that it doesn't come with a power adapter but the keyboard is powered by the USB cable anyway. It also doesn't come with a sustain pedal so you need to bear this in mind. On the top we have a volume fader, directional buttons for easy control when using with music software as well as a mod wheel and a pitch bend. There is no need to download any drivers for this keyboard. It's as simple as just plug in and play via a USB cable as it automatically syncs up with your PC or Mac. This can also be used with an iOS device via an Apple USB to camera adapter, but this is sold separately. Okay, so let's talk about the keys. I've got to say it's taken a while to get used to them. Although they're semi-weighted, the keys are very light and it makes it hard to get different velocities whilst playing. I've also found that the keys are slightly shorter than you'd find on an acoustic piano. And this can make it quite tricky when you're doing some really fast and intricate runs. There is also a very funny sound when you're pressing on the keys, a clicky sound. Dare I say it, it sounds a little bit cheap. But having said this, I wouldn't go out and use this for gigging. It's absolutely perfect for the music studios and getting your ideas into music programs. The keyboard would also be excellent for educational settings and I could see this keyboard sat in a lot of schools and colleges. Currently, the price for this is around about £175, which I think is really reasonable for what you're getting. Not only is the price great, but it also comes with a bundle of software included with the purchase of this keyboard. The software that it comes with is Pro Tools, Ableton Live Lite and MPC Beats Performance Recording Software, amongst many others. All this software is available from the M-Audio website and you'll need to download it once you register with them. So here's the question, would I go out and buy it? And the answer to this would be yes, but only for home studio use or for schools, colleges and universities. Its compact design makes great use of saving space so it could fit under any desk. The buttons are clear and easy to use. And if you're looking for a keyboard because this is an 88 keys and you're thinking of having it as a home piano or for live events, I might look at a different model. In fact, M Audio also offer a graded hammer action 88 note controller keyboard, which would be great to review next time. Anyway, I hope this review has given you an insight into the product and please subscribe, hit like, and we look forward to seeing you next time on Keys Review.